are going to see the debut of the other mercenary from Turkey, Morat. <laughs> Got the Turkish flag draped across the back of his head, representing Turkey. Oh, apparently, with Morat, you've got to look out for the suplexes. He's a submission wrestling machine, and you've got to watch out for all those suplexes. He comes from a Greco-Roman wrestling background. Look at that! WWP wrestlers better be watching in the back. Got a low center of gravity. Big, powerfully built wrestler. But he's going to be taking on the one and only PJ Black. PJ Black making his entrance to the WWP. He is the blue chopper. He is the hottest property. The greatest professional wrestling export South Africa has to offer. PJ Black. PJ Black. Is just dying to get the fight on the road. DJ Black with that unique hairstyle. He likes to refer to himself as the charismatic enigma of the WWP. The women love him, the men love to hate him. DJ Black set to take on the mercenary Morat. This is going to be a contrast in styles. Mm. You've got PJ Black, he's got that martial arts background combined with his acrobatic high flying wrestling, and then you've got the power. The ground and pound assault of Morat should make for a very interesting matchup. Listen to that crowd as they erupt for PJ Black. Obviously, Morat is not liking that at all. Look at that, jumps right over him. Second time, Morat a little too slow for PJ. PJ one step ahead of him. With that thick neck on Morat. Just powers PJ into the corner. PJ rolls out of the corner. Catches him. Oh, Make that a pair of them. Big hip toss. Drop kick. And Morat goes to the outside. He needed to get out of there. PJ was in control. Morat surprised at the speed of PJ Black. Very short. You can see on his face. Does it go? What does hit him? fan favorite here in the WWP as we take a look again at that twisting plunger over the top. Morat didn't stand a chance. PJ Black is like no other. And I'm going to explain this again. He is not a cruiserweight, yet he wrestles like one. It sets him above the rest as he whips Morat. Morat reverses a PJ to the turnbuckle. This is the power! Nally to Nally! Overhead release suplex! Look at that guy for the cup! Oh! kicked out at the last moment. That's the power, Bo. The power came into play. He caught him with that Betty to Betty suplex, and this match has turned. Time for Mora to show us what he's made of. Gut wrench. Gut wrench suplex. As Mora pods through the ceiling, goes oh. a huge elbow drop. Look at the airtime from the big man. He got off the ground. Two count only. You're going to have to do more than an elbow drop to pin BJ. PJ Black, the son of the legendary Pink Panther, also a second generation professional wrestler in the WWP. Has more of the clubbing forearm across his back. Another suplex. We're seeing a textbook suplex. Goes to the cover. We're seeing a variety of suplexes. 
Morat living up to his name as the suplex machine. Look at that up bridge, wrenching back on the neck. All that talk, all that weight pulling back on PJ Black's neck. PJ's in a lot of trouble. More at in firm control, PJ. Maybe a little shocked at the power. He just slowed the fight down to his own pace. That's what he needed to do. But fast and furious, PJ is going to be in control. But they have to slow it down, wear PJ down, and take him out. As he whips PJ to the other side. Train with a clothesline in that corner. Whoops, PJ again to the turnbuckle. Running up against Freight Train, clothesline to the other side. Off the ropes again. And a huge clothesline. PJ decapitated. But PJ Black is a fancy. PJ Black has dedicated his career to his late great father, the Pink Panther. And I tell you what, you're going to have to do more than a clothesline to put PJ Black away. In control, but it can change at any moment. I got a question to the booking committees of the WWP. When's PJ Black going to get considered for a title shot? I guess we'll have to sit, wait and see for that to happen, Johnny. It's about time, Bo. Morat just slowly. Morat powers him up to the top turnbuckle. What's this going to be? Is he going to go for a superplex off the top? What's it going to be? Oh, top right across the test. I could hear that from you. And PJ fights back. Morat comes running in again, though. Catches him with a forearm shot this time. He's trying to catch him. It looks like he's going for another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Morat pushed him off again. Top rope. Must have moved the top rope. He's got him, rolls him over. What's this? This must be the Turkish death lock. He said this maneuver is unbreakable. PJ Black must submit. He's gonna have to submit. There's no way out. He's in the middle of the ring. That arm's gone down twice. That's the third. Is it? I hope there's no serious injury there. Oh man, I can't believe it. I don't think I would say this. A choke like so maneuver. A choke like maneuver. That Turkish death lock. It's very, very dangerous, Johnny. As, I cannot believe it. As Mickey Whiplash stands over PJ Black. The what weasel. really happened? What happened? We need to see it again so that we can, you know. Black had this match, and he had it in control, he, he had it right where he wanted him. He was signaling for the springboard, and then I don't know what happened. The only thing I can think, though, is that Mickey Whiplash must have interjected himself somewhere along the line. Wherever the weasel is, he's very, very pleased with himself. Let's look at the replay, see exactly what happened. It's PJ signaling. There's Mickey Whiplash running from behind, pushing around the ring to grab PJ the ring. setting up. Look at it. Oh, there it is. There he pulls is. the rope. The Iron Interrupting PJ's balance. PJ fell on the back of his head. Could have locked himself out there already. Morat rolls him over. Turkish deathlock. And PJ was in a world of trouble. <laughs>